to the Bahamas for a 10-day summer vacation. After hours of preparations and provisioning, we set off in the wee hours of the night for the west end of Grand Bahamas on a quiet motor passage with no wind across the Gulf Stream. You'll be able to do it. <laughs> you got one more shot. shooting in the big blue we made it to West End where we checked in that night we had some big storms and waves pass through and swamp the dinghy and bend the davits there were lessons learned uh -oh! we left West End early and headed through Sandy Cay next stop was Great Sail Cay we arrived just in time for some treasure hunting and a photo op session at sunset. We left with some driftwood that will be turned into art. I'll try to make another video about that later. Gracie practiced French braiding while the rest of the crew fixed fishing lines and kicked back. Colors of the blue looked almost fluorescent. We even had dolphins visit before anchoring. Brandon Fox had to stop in Foxtown to see what treasures the locals could provide. That night we ate like kings and caught something very special.
On our way from Foxtown, we passed Center of the World Rock, heading towards Powell K. At Powell K, our goal was to spot some whale puke, ambergris, that is worth big money, so Brandon told us, and some locals even corroborated his story. This was one of the best adventures so far. Here's the big reveal. We hiked all this way. Here, beach break. Nest must be right here. Ah! Come on, let's go, Grace. The Jesus is like. Look at that picture. So on this trail, we just happened upon one of my favorite things in all the world, a native Bahamian orchid, unless someone came and actually put it here. But I'd like to believe this is a native Bahamian orchid. How beautiful, huh? After exploring Powell Cay, we headed to Green Turtle Cay that evening for dinner and drinks. The Haley's and Brandon Fox all left their mark at the famous Dollar Bar, where drinks are strong and the conch fritters are the bomb. morning at Green Turtle and headed to do some snorkeling and spearfishing before going to Navigari's Marsh Harbor Base. Dog Snapper was the most delicious dinner even though Brandon sacrificed and got a spine in his hand. It seems as if double rainbows were our special treat. Here's inspiration at the Navigari docks. Sitting pretty. that just went, went out on Crystal. We had a really good time. They're gonna write us a nice review. And last but not least, here is Cattails. Latest boat I just sold into the fleet. Yay! The construction is coming in together really nice. Construction is almost finished at the new restaurant, Snappa's. We also had lunch at Abaco Beach Resort and played some ping pong before leaving and heading to Hopetown. Just enjoy the ride. The lady's gonna show up, so. I know man, passing by, life is good. Yeah, place to be. Here's a sneak peek. Snap is soon to come. Looking pretty. It's gonna be nice. After reprovisioning and hosing off the decks at the Navigari base, 
we said goodbye to Morrow and the team and headed off to Hopetown. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Bye bye. <laughs> The next morning we headed in to see the Hopetown Lighthouse by Dinghy. We rented some bicycles and explored the island. We pedaled to Firefly Resort and had lunch and took a swim before heading back to the boat and on to Little Harbor before sunset. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way. Is this for sissies? I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay, cause I found my way. We anchored just outside of Little Harbor, which turned out to be my absolute favorite place on this whole entire trip, and you'll see why. When we dinghied into the harbor the next morning, we were blown away by what we saw. It was by far my favorite place. So, I'm orchid collecting in the Bahamas. As you can see, right up there on that cliff behind me are all those purple orchids. Earth, I was hiking and got this bulb here. Hopefully, there's enough roots on that that I can anchor that and keep that one living. Didn't want to take too much of that one. Pretty cool. We just explored this park. We're going to go get to the big one now, too. This is the big cave we want to go explore. What are you doing? Video. Facebook Live? No, video. That's the big cave. I think there's definitely bats up in there. You saw that. You saw a bat in the little cave? A couple of there was bats shit everywhere. I'm sure. Oh man, now that's going to be fun to explore. on Powell Cay and we all signed it and decided to put it somewhere along our journey. 
We decided on Little Harbor because we loved it the best, just outside of Pete's Pub. I literally fell in love with Little Harbor, and while I was there, I bought this book at the Foundry, telling the story of Randolph Johnstone and his family, some of whom I met and even still live there. I devoured every page on the sail back home. our belly and help us live to see another day. <laughs> Introduce him to Mady. We got a friend. See, we're bird friendly here on this boat. longest sailing was from Little Harbor all the way to Chub K, where we were able to relax and have fun before heading home. was Brandon's old yachty stomping ground, so he showed us all the best spots. So what do we got here? We Brandon. Okay, bye. We got us some fresh black tuna. We don't put that in some poke, bye. Last night at sea. <laughs> Ciao, bye. Gracie is incessantly taking pictures at sunset. That's TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat right there, bye. <laughs> TikTok, TikTok. We've got the wind dead behind us at the same uh, speed as we are motoring, so really no use in the sails. We got Sir Squeaks a lot going crazy. Down <laughs> we got there. Sir Squeaks a lot. Yeah, bite. Yeah, bite. No, 
that looks so good. We caught a mackerel as well today. Okay. Not by him. And we're about two miles from the, uh, where was it? Which stick is that? That's Mackie Shoal. Mackie Shoal, right. home only about 15 nautical miles to go this time spent with my family and great friend reminds me that following a passion no matter how hard or how scary is worth every bit of the reward I compare this video to some of my first adventures and guess what I see progress <laughs> 